The world clock on ending obstetric fistula is ticking, but the number of girls and women enduring painful childbearing complications keeps growing with so many unreported. Sarah Ayeku has more in this report. Each year, about 50,000 to 100,000 women around the world sustain an obstetric fistula while trying to give birth. Obstetric fistula is a medical condition in which a hole develops in the birth canal as a result of childbirth. Experts say it is the most devastating of all pregnancy-related disabilities and Nigeria accounts for 40% of fistula cases worldwide. About 80 to 95% of the cases of the causes of obstetric fistula are caused when a young woman experiences prolonged obstructed labor and has no access to cesarean section. For those in the southern part of Nigeria, it seems convenient to ignore the scourge of obstetric fistula and its damaging effects on young girls. But sadly, this is not the case of most of the girls I spoke with in Kano State, northern Nigeria. I got married when I was 10 years old. I became pregnant and at seven months I had complications and lost the baby. I am 17 and I have lost three babies within the space of five years. And I'm still recovering from VVF and I still pee on myself. Back here in Lagos, I met a gynecologist and fertility expert, a specialist who returned home for research and medical care in Nigeria. Due to the complex nature of fistulas and poor quality of care, women often have to receive multiple surgeries Dr. Conde explains how dangerous this birth condition is for women. And since most of them don't get to make a choice for themselves, treatment may be a tall order. Social fistula um, is a complication of uh, uh, childbirth, basically, and it's a major issue of concern. And unfortunately, we have also one of the highest obstetric death, maternal death in the world. Is it the one that connects to the bladder or the one that connects to the rectum? Either of them are treatable. On the average, it might cost, on the average, even at international level, it might cost around $500 to treat. That means that if you translate that into Nigeria factor, Nigeria exchange rate, you're talking of about 300 to 400,000 Naira. These poor folks, these young girls, yeah cannot, emphatically cannot afford that. So it's up to the government now to fund it. Every year, international organizations keep spending money to offer free surgeries to these vulnerable persons. Although it's a welcome idea, observers say more needs to be done to address the political, social, religious and cultural factors that are causing obstetric fistula in Nigeria. The whole budget of healthcare in Nigeria, even if it's devoted to obstetric fistula, is not going to cure it. So, on one side, I'm a bit worried that it may not, but on the, on the optimistic side, if we really, really, really focus on it, it is a possibility. So, international organizations will try their best, but we have, in Nigeria, have work to do. The theme for this year is End Fistula Now, Invest in Quality Healthcare empower communities, a reminder that more still needs to be done to eradicate the condition in Nigeria. Well, let's speak more about uh, this health issue of obstetric fistula. Joining me at this time is Dr. Eli Sukarume. He's uh, a consultant of obstetrician and a gynecologist. He joins us live via Zoom from Port Harcourt. Thank you for joining us on TVC News at 7. Help us better understand, in a layman's language, what obstetric fistula is. Obstetric fistula, good evening. Good evening. My pleasure being with you. Uh, obstetric fistula is a devastating and a catastrophic health problem that is mainly associated with women of childbearing age. And uh, it results when there is prolonged obstructed 
labor. Thereby, an abnormal communication of the woman and some other structures in the body. The most common is the vesicle vagina fistula, which is an abnormal communication between the genital tract of the woman and the urinary bladder. Mm. That is on one end. You also have the rectal vagina fistula, which is an abnormal communication between the rectum part of the intestine and the genital tract. Mm. Well, as it is... Basically, do that. Okay. As it is, Nigeria, we understand, accounts for about 40% of cases worldwide. And this year, the theme is about ending fistula now. What can be done in Nigeria to end this issue? For us to end uh, obstetric fistula, uh, uh, we have to look at the root causes of obstetric fistula. And that can be categorized into uh, problems in the management of labor, which is also a major cause of maternal death, which is labor to long of obstructed of of labor, whereby there is no proper supervision, supervision of women uh, during delivery. And for that reason, uh, uh, there is a problem between uh, in which the uh, head of the baby continues to impinge on the uh, structures surrounding the genital tract. In this case, most common with the bladder. So we need proper supervision of women during labor, in which the World Health Organization clearly states that labor should be supervised by skilled pet attendants. Some other causes of uh, uh, fistula, which is directly or indirectly linked to uh, delivery, is uh, uh, teenagers, women, uh, girls that are uh, that get pregnant and do not have a fully developed pelvis, uh, are predisposed to labor dysplasia, obstructed labor, and uh, obstetric fistula. In addition. The uh, uh, cultural practices in some parts of Nigeria uh, may predispose women to uh, objective fistula, such as uh, uh, women that are engaged in uh, female genital mutilation. Uh, that can also be one of those uh, uh, causes of uh, uh, objective fistula. We have other causes, uh, but these are the major ones. So, mm. For us to end obstetric fistula in Nigeria, uh, there should be proper supervision of uh, women in labor. All right. There should be training of women, of midwives, so that they can actually uh, uh, manage uh, women in labor. In addition to that, uh, there should be discouragement of girls that get married, that are teenagers, that do not have fully developed pelvic. All right, so when all of these are put together, you are assuring us that we should uh, be well on our way to ending fistula, not just in Nigeria, but uh, the world. Dr. Eli Sokarime is a consultant, obstetrician, and gynecologist. Thank you for sharing your thoughts with us on TVC News at 7.